All right, good evening. This is Coach Big Pete of DeepDishFootball.com. How you doing? This is for the Phillips Wildcats. This video is for the Phillips Wildcat roster schedule. Just a brief overview of the 2017 season. They have won their first game. Um, a very tough game, defensive stance game against Loyola. So they got the first win. Um, they have two more tough get, uh They have, uh, I'm sorry, they have two more... Two more tough games after uh, Richards. They have uh, Solero Academy and Simeon, but it's looking like a clear schedule, a clear road to the Cal for Phillips. I've said it numerous times. Um, Phillips is unbelievable, especially with the addition of Billingsley, um, Terrence Taylor, and some of the new juniors that have come up to Phillips. It's unbelievable what Phillips has now. Coach McAllister does a hell of a job. Um, this season, I honestly, uh, next week is uh, they have Simeon. I don't see them uh, losing against Simeon. And Solero Academy is good, but I don't think they have the level of team to face Phillips. I think... Their biggest game is this week uh, for the season because after that, it's just it just looks like put it clear control. But again, like I said, there's so much parity. But again, I do not want to play coach against Phillips. I don't want to play against Phillips. I've it, they're just so deep in talent. Um, it's unbelievable. Uh, and just what uh, Coach McKelster does with that team, his practices, his organization skills with that team, what that coaching staff does. Um, you can't beat it. It's there's a lot of people that like to talk about the players and that and the talent. That's good. They do have talent, but let's not forget what these coaches have done for this team. Um, let's not forget what these kids have done. Let's not forget last year, and I keep saying this last year they had the most kids on honor roll, and I think that a lot of people just want to make make snide comments and snide remarks, which are completely untrue about Phillips. Um, they bust their ass on the field, and they bust their ass in the classroom. And I have to say, I've met some of these kids, very high-character kids, great kids, nice kids, kids that are be going to grow into future, basically, basically future, how do you say, um, high-character men. And it's just something, it's something to be, as a coach, especially Troll uh, McAllister and that, and I've talking to him numerous times, he's very proud of that. And it's good to see. And Phillips is, does a hell of a job with that. So let's go over the Phillips roster just a little bit. I'll go more in depth tomorrow about Phillips. But this is just for the roster of 2017. Jabor Gibbs, hell of a quarterback. I saw him I was last year. I said he was one hell of a quarterback. Um, I know a lot of people have him as an athlete and wide receiver and rumors of him playing wide receiver in college. But I think he can play quarterback in college. I think he's that good. DeAndre, DeAndre Johnson, defensive end to look out for. Um, Joseph uh, Joseph Thompson, junior wide receiver. He's I think he's getting in this. He has some offers already. Um, very underrated guy that you need to look out for, Craig Elamore. Um, he's a running back slash linebacker. Uh, deserves a lot more respect than he's getting. He's literally the Malcolm Fox of last year when Malcolm Fox was getting a lot of respect. Craig Ellenmore deserves that type of respect too. Terrence Taylor, linebacker for college, that some people are talking about. Edge rusher now, Terrence Taylor, another kid that you definitely want to keep a close eye out for. Rashawn Thompson, unbelievable. Um, Anthony Davis, a very underrated slot back wide receiver that people are not talking about. And I wish they would talk about more. He is very, very good. He can especially explode on that Z spot too. Um, let's see. Quinnell Morrison, a deep dish football rank player. Amori Hurd, another D1 offensive tackle. Um, uh, like literally, I can just name off Jalel Billingsley. He has already got an offer, I think, from Purdue from a. Uh, Mount Carmel transferred there. He's a hell of a player. Uh, Ronald, uh, not, not, 
there's another person that I'm totally forgetting about. I'm trying to find him in my notes. Where are you? But it's they're it's just a hell of a team. They do a great job. Talent the players. I'm gonna be interested. What I wanna see uh this Friday Friday night, I wanna see who replaced the senior leaders from last year? That's gonna be a that's gonna be an interesting point to see this Friday night. <clears throat> um, I do think that uh, uh, they lost a great leader in uh, Malcolm Fox, and Malcolm Fox was a hell of a leader. My hats off to that kid. He was unbelievable. He was an unbelievable leader. But it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see um, this Friday night the Phillips that roster. Uh, Troy McAllister, how they face up against, how they face up against uh, Richards, and I would love, I can't wait to see some of those defensive backs from Phillips. We'll love to see how they're matched up, the type of cushion that they're given, and their reads, because that is just that's going to be just amazing to see what Phillips does. But again, it's, like I said, this season is a really special season for Phillips. The amount of talent that they have is unbelievable. The worst, their biggest opponent right now, this whole season in Phillips is themselves. Because if they can, if if they can stay the straight narrow path, they can win the championship no matter what. But their biggest opponent this season is themselves. Simple as that. So this was my uh, 2017 season preview after one game for Phillips. I'll be doing Richards in about an hour. Great team. Can't wait. Be sure you uh, are following Coach Big Pete, Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook. I'm also on Instagram, Coach Big Pete. How you doing? Also go to deepdishfootball.com. In the section, Deep Dish Football Game of the Week, all these videos will be posted so you can watch all the videos in it. This is the first start of a couple of videos. There's probably going to be about 12 videos about this game, analysis and everything from me. Um, please, if you have any questions or comments, email me, coachbigpete, fp at gmail.com. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, feel free um, feel free to send me any DMs, DMs or uh, questions. Go ahead, go crazy. But again, it's going to be an interesting game this Friday night. Deep this football game of the week, week two, week two, at Richards, Phillips versus Richards. It's going to be one hell of a game. Thank you so much, and just keep it here for all of your post, uh, your pregame analysis between Richards and Phillips.